In this video, I am going to show you how you can fine tune or train Tiny Llama 1.1 billion model on your own custom data set. So, for example, if you have your own company's data and you want to use this Tiny Llama on that data set, then you can use this video in order to accomplish that. So, let's get right into it. The tool which I'm going to use for this purpose is called as Unsloth. Unsloth makes it very fast, very easy to train any large language models on your own custom data set. They have a free version and they have a paid version. If you want scale, speed and you have some production uh, environment which need lot of GPUs but you need speed, then you can use Unsloth which is actually quite a good tool. But for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to go with my trusted free Google Colab. The first step we need to do is to make sure that in the runtime we have selected T4 GPU because that is what's available for free with Google Colab and I'm going to make a full use of it. Now for the first step, let's quickly check what sort of torch version we are using. And I'm just using CUDA.get device capability to get my torch version. Let's wait for it to finish because the torch version is going to tell us which uh, unsloth version I need to install. Let's wait for it to finish. Shouldn't take too long. So that is done. And this is how I'm checking if the version of CUDA is greater than 8. So it means that I'm using the latest GPU. So the reason why I'm showing you this, you can use the same code on any of the Linux instance where you have GPU installed and don't worry about the command. I'll drop the link to their GitHub notebook uh, where all of these commands are present courtesy to Unsloth. So as you can see that I'm using T4. So this Unsloth version makes sense to me. So let me run it and it is going to install a lot of prerequisites which are required not for Unsloth and then it will install the Unsloth itself. So let's wait for it to finish. First it is going to download all the dependencies and then it will go from there. So you can see that it has started downloading and installing a lot of stuff. And by the way, you can use the same command which I'm going to show you with any of the hugging face model. Let's wait for this one to finish. Shouldn't take too long. So all the dependencies are done. Now in the next step, let's import the fast language model uh, module of this onslaught. And then we are going to download this quantized version of tiny llama. You can even use a full version if you like, doesn't matter. All you need to do is to provide the hugging face name and then it will just download that one. But I'm for the purpose of video, I'm just going to use a quantized one. And because I'm using quantized one in four bits, so I'm, I have set this to true. I'm not using any D type for this one. D type is simply tells us the array um, structure of this doc, uh, object type in the numpy. And another good thing is that normally tiny llama context length is 2048, but we are doubling here with the help of one sloth. I'm giving it max sequence length of 4096. You can even increase it. And they are using rope scaling for this. If you don't know what rope scaling is, I have another video on it. So let me run it. It is going to download the model locally. And because it is a quantized one, so it is quite uh, small. It's not that huge. So that is one advantage of using this one. So let's wait for it to load. So you can see it has started loading. And you can ignore a few of the warnings here. It doesn't matter. Yep, that is expected, so all good. And you can see the model size is just around 762 meg, which is quite small considering the sizes of models these days. Once that's done, we are going to prepare our data set. And while this happens, let me quickly show you the data set which I'm going to use. I'm going to use this Yama's Alpaca Clean data set because it is quite um, relevant for this video you can use your own custom data set but if you want to use the same video function then you just make sure that it is in this format and i'll show you the code how you can also ensure that 
um, so you can uh, so another thing is that this has around 52 k rows for training uh, but just because for the purpose of video i'm just going to load one percent of it so let me go to my collab so model is done and let me show you the code to prepare the data set this is my alpaca data set as usual i'm using the alpaca standard uh, prompt template which is instruction input and response whereas in the data set we just saw again that it has output input at instruction so i'm just picking out instruction input output input instruction and output from here and then i'm just zipping it and converting the format in the proper one and then from there i am simply training it to one percent of the data set so it should be around 500 rows or something because if i use the whole data set it will take long time to train maybe few hours i don't want to do that i want to finish this video quickly so let's wait for this data set to load and then it is going to format it so you can see that data set is being loaded this will take maybe a couple of minutes maybe or maybe less let's wait for it to finish And you can see that the data, se data set size is also very small, not huge at all, which is great. Data set is done, mapping is done. Okay, now let's define our trainer. And I'm going to use this SFT trainer from Hugging Face TRL library, as you can see from here. And the reason why I'm using it is because it is quite performant and it is quite uh, I quite trusted i have used it at various places and it has always uh, helped me out you can also use a dpo but i'm not going to use dpo is a more modern one but let's go with this one so if you go through it it's very simple actually it's not that hard we're importing some of the libraries we are specifying the model which we have just downloaded and then we are giving it some of the other parameter uh, the main one is that this I'm just using one epoch because I just want to finish it quickly as I mentioned earlier so but in the production environment of course you would use more epochs on the same data epoch is just the iteration that it makes on the data set to get trained now okay so there is an error here what exactly is the error Let me quickly check. Okay, interestingly enough, I just had to rerun it few times and then it worked. As you can see here, it has completed that, um, completed this generating the trainer. And then all I needed to do is to just run this trainer.train and it started training. And it has trained it just three times. And you can see that it took very little time because I have just used one epoch and if I go above a little, you can see that I'm just simply using this 1% of it. And that is why it just took minutes to get it trained on this 3.1. Now, that is all we need to do in order to train it on our own custom data. And this is where I also generated some of the memory stats here. You can see it only used very little of what I have, which is not much. And then I did some inference of my, on my new model. And it was able to print out the Fibonacci numbers here. And if you want to save this model locally, all you need to do is to run this lore underscore model, save pre-trained. You can even uh, push it to Hugging Face Hub if you like. And let me also quickly share the command to push it to Hugging Face Hub if you like. But you would just need a Hugging Face account for that. And this is a command which you need to use, model.push to hub your name whatever your name on hugging faces and whatever name you want to give to this model so this is it guys how easy it is to fine tune llama on your own custom data set by using unsloth if you're stuck having facing any issues let me know and one point you can use these same commands on any linux instance if you are using windows windows you can use the windows subsystem for shell for linux and you can use the same commands that's it. I hope that you enjoyed it. Please consider subscribing to the channel. And if you already subscribed, please share it among your network. Thank you very much.